channel thank you so much for coming back to watch another video from me so today I'm showing you guys this sleigh cut crease slowy makeup look I don't really know what to call it yet you can pretty much wear this look to slay and you know if you want to look glowy and just complete slayage you guys can definitely write this look don't forget to subscribe down to my channel if you're new to my channel so you don't miss any more videos from me I post twice a week Mondays and Thursdays so I don't get to miss out on that you know I don't want you to miss out on that. Okay, give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and let's jump straight into the video. Hey guys, so I'm going to start off by using my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I'm just going to place this all over my face to give me that nice smooth canvas. Now I'm going to go in with my Lumi Drops by Gosh. I'm going to place this in the high points of my face. Then go in and rub that in using my fingers. This will give me that nice radiance glow to my skin. Not oily, but a lacquer. A fresh glow which I love so then to cover up my blemishes on my face I'm gonna be using my next concealer I'm gonna use the lighter shade to cover up my dark circles underneath my eyes I'm gonna use a darker shade to cover up the blemishes on my skin and I'm gonna blend that out using my fingers now I'm gonna use a setting powder and I'm gonna place this in my smile lines this really helps my foundation not to separate around my smile lines throughout the day and it keeps it matte for the most part of my day. If you have oily skin, this will really help control your oil as well. So for foundation today, I'm gonna to be using my black opal foundation stick in the shade Carib. I'm just gonna place that on my face and I'm just gonna buff that in using the foundation brush. Then go in with my Real Technique Beauty Sponge to blend that into my skin even more to give me that nice flawless finish. So to highlight my face today, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Highlighter in the shade Dark Golden. I'm just going to use this to highlight my face. So to brighten up my under eye, I'm going to go in with my Mary Kay Concealer in the shade Bronze 2, I believe. And I'm going to place this just underneath my eyes to give me that nice bright under eye. So to set my highlighted areas, I'm going to go in my black opal deluxe finishing powder in medium. I'm going to first set my highlighted areas with this powder, then go in to bake my under eye with the same powder. So to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my MAC Skin Finishing Powder in Dark Deep. I'm just going to buff this into my skin. And to bronze on my face today, I'm going to be using my Sleek Pressed Powder in the shade of Wood Smoke. And this will give me a nice chocolate bronze finish. And I'm not going to be contouring today because I don't want that harsh contour. I want my skin to be fresh and glowy. So that's why I'm not going to be contouring today. So moving on to my eyes, I'm going to start off by using my Makeup Obsession Burnt Eyeshadow. And I'm going to use this as my transition colour today. Now go into my Sleek Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to leave the name of this palette down below. And I'm grabbing this Burnt Orange shade as well. I'm going to place this right below my transition colour. So going back into the same palette, I'm going to grab this purple shade. I'm going to place that right in my crease. Now I'm going back into blend on my eyeshadow so there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to go back into the same palette. I'm going to grab this brown shade. I'm going to place that right in my crease as well. Going back in the same palette, I'm going to grab this cream shade. And I'm going to use this to set my brow bone highlight. Then go back in with a clean brush to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm going to grab my Makeup Obsession Burnt Eyeshadow and I'm going to run this through my lower lash line. Then go back into my Sleek Palette, I'm going to grab this purple shade again. I'm going to place that on my lower lash line as well. 
So now I'm gonna grab my Freedom Single Eyeshadow in the shade Shimmer 4, and I'm just gonna use this to cut my cut crease. And you really wanna take your time whilst doing this because it could go left really quickly. So now I'm gonna grab my Barry and Pigment, and I really, really like this pigment a lot, you guys. I'm just gonna place that right on top, and this will give me that metallic gold look which i like and i'm also using this to create the wing to my cut crease now i'm going to grab a liquid liner that i got from the hair shop and i'm going to use this to create a nice fierce wing Grabbing my next eyeshadow base in white, I'm gonna place this in my waterline to make my eyes bigger. Then go back into my sleek palette, I'm gonna grab this cream shade that I use for my brow bone. I'm gonna use that to set the eyeshadow base. Now I'm just gonna dust up the excess powder off my face. So to get rid of that powdery look, I'm gonna use my next Dewy Finish setting spray. That's just gonna make my skin look dewy and fresh and glowy. And to highlight today, I'm gonna be using my Gilded Honey by Laura Giller. I'm just gonna use that to highlight my face. Now going back in with my liquid liner again, I'm gonna place dots underneath my lower lash line and this will give an illusion that I have longer lower lashes. Then I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. mascara in black. I'm just gonna place that on my lashes. So the lashes I'll be wearing today are from Lux Eyelashes in the style Mali. This is my favorite lashes that I always wear. So moving on to my lips, I'm going to start off by lining my lips using a brown lip liner. Then go with my next liquid lipstick and I'll put the name of this shade down below. I'm just going to place that on my lips. And to top it off, I'm going to be using my Miss Beauty lip gloss that I got from my friend. I'm just going to pop that right on top. And then I'm just going to clean up my lips using a concealer. And that completes today's look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below any more videos you guys would like to see. Make sure you subscribe down to my channel if you're new to my channel so you don't miss any more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.